see what Lisa Boone has to do now. Boil her water if she wants to drink it. My sister-in-law, Rena's texted me to stop drinking the water. Stop drinking the water. It's got E. coli in it. The Mississippi Department of Health receives monthly water samples from Horn Lake. Ten water samples were sent to the state last week, and one of them tested positive for E. coli. They didn't specifically say which sample that we sent in from what location. You know, they just sent us a notice that, you know, they did not pass. Thousands of people have their water contaminated, so they're under a boil water alert, and people here are on edge. Uh -huh. All right. Well, like, what works is Spencer. People are so worried Spencer Shields' phone has been ringing off the hook since the alert went out. The Horn Link Public Works director says this has never happened before. There are three water companies in Horn Lake. Shields says only people who receive bills from Horn Lake Utilities are affected. We have another water association, Horn Lake Water Association, that, that, that controls all the water from Hurt Road to the interstate. Uh, and we get a lot of calls from them, and they're not affected with it whatsoever. Walls Water Association takes care of all the water inside the city limits from Horn Lake Road to 301. So that's not included in that. Boone drinks water from her faucet every day and fears the bacteria made her sick. I thought, well, first I thought a bad cold, then I thought the flu. Mm -hmm. Then it got to where I couldn't breathe. And then I started actually coughing up blood. I'm really scared. And my husband's like, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna need to get checked out. Health officials say you can use the water to cook, clean, and even use it for your tea, but make sure if you're going to drink it to boil the water for at least one minute. Horn Lake Utilities will collect more samples and resend them to the state health department and hopefully get this boil water alert lifted by Thursday. Reporting live in Horn Lake, Jack Yorosco, CW30 News.